Hello everyone, QC Runner for QC Runner Games, and I am back today with another episode of Hustle Castle, and as you can see, it is event time. It is called The Way of the Wolf. Complete The Way of the Wolf from beginning to end to get items with unique abilities and other valuable rewards. So, let me just start off by saying you might recognize the name Way of the Wolf. There have been other similar type events in the past, and some people enjoy them, some people do not, and... This is what we got. So we're going to cover that there. We're going to cover what the event is, what it's not, and what my thoughts are on the extra items we're going to be getting here. So without further ado, let's jump in. I don't think we have any notes here other than just saying it's coming. This does not talk about it. So, all right, let's go ahead and dive in and look to see what Grav has to say. All right, so he is sitting outside and... This is a, you know, a similar kind of event, like I said, we saw in the past. And I think the first one I ever remember seeing was the Way of the Dragon, I believe. And that's the, uh, the dragon that comes across and blasts everybody with fire that's been around for a while. And these are ones that you get, you know, you do various things, as we'll cover in a minute. You earn these, uh, what do these guys call your puppy, uh, puppy paws here, wolf paws. And then you buy stuff all the way to the top. You know, the more you play, the more points you get. The more points you get, the better the stuff you get all the way up to the top where you get these specific outfits. One for a tank, one for a mage, and one for an archer. And then if you get all those, you can get a special uh, artifact. And oh, since, I don't forget the last event was called, I think the way the, wasn't the unicorn, that was the second one, I think. I forgot what the last one was. Um, I did not participate too much in that one, and that might actually be the case in here, as we'll, we'll talk about in a bit. Um, but they also added these uh, legendary artifacts up top as well. So obviously these guys are extremely useful also as you can see extremely expensive so it's hard to, hard to get them for sure so um, I have seen many complaints as I've seen every time this type of event has come up in the past most people complain that oh it's pay to win blah 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 it's only for the whales and I agree that is true I mean in order for you to complete this entire thing you pretty much have to spend money you, you cannot complete all three of these by just grinding you can certainly get one possibly two um, I haven't heard specific, I haven't seen the math yet on this one for this specific event. I heard it's a little bit easier than the last one, so maybe it's slightly better. But still, getting all of these and to get these up top, especially at tier 11, maybe tier 6 is a little bit easier to grind a lot of the stuff, but at 10, 11, not so much. And I've heard 8 and 9 is pretty hard too. So um, so then, you know, what, what's, what's more valuable? What do you want to go for? Or do you want to spend money? Because obviously, look up here, there's a lot of people that have spent to get this many um, paws, I'm going to call them because I'm not sure what they're called, this early. It's only, it hasn't been a day. It's only been out for, what, I'm going to guess like 16, 18 hours by this time. So obviously you can buy um, the paws with diamonds. Obviously that's what these people are doing. And a lot of people have done it. And it's very expensive. So hey, you know, more power to them. I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell people not to play the game that way. If that's, if that's how you want to do it, that's fine. I'm not going to spend the money to get up there and get these, get these items. It's just not worth it to me. Um, but with, with that said, there is a lot of good materials out here. Especially now with the TR-11 out, we have some good TR-11 stuff. So let's just go through each one here. So each side we have 900,000 for me because that's the max at this level. I can't support 900,000 yet. I only can support 600,000, but once I get fully maxed out, I can get that. That will immediately be useful, obviously. Um, purple shards always good. And here we got new souls. These are only rare, but we got some souls each way. I mean, getting three of those, that might be worth it right there, just going up to that. Um, these chests are really good. We get mithril, a lot of it. Extremely useful. And always leaner legendary dust is always good. And here we got epic souls, very good. And we got our chests here with a bunch of, I still don't know what these are about. I'm going to cover this in the next video a little bit. Um, getting some of this material, I got a couple chests open, which I need to do. Um, today actually so I'm gonna record the next video after this one and we'll cover that one in, in that video um, very very good and useful stuff here as well obviously keep going up purple shards obviously they're always always good and useful orange gems fantastic of course and now we get up to our legendary equipment you got you know what is this just a regular legendary you yeah. not arena specific but still legendary items and we got legendary chests here with a lot. You got ancient essence, and then you know got your other materials. And this is for the set building, which I had, don't have a set builder yet or set workshop, so I don't know what most of this stuff does. But obviously, it will become useful. 
And here we go. Let's we've got the event event armor. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at each one of these. Excuse me, running a little bit of cold here. So here's our mage, our mage armor. So spell power twenty two thousand. I think that's pretty good. I have to compare that to mine, but that seems really good actually. Um, total health fifty four. That also seems high. And we can look at my numbers again, but that just seems pretty good. So once in a while we'll be dealing thirty thousand damage. So extra damage dealing from the mage. Of course that's good, but that's not really the point of your of your mage. Really, unless you have a damage dealing mage, then obviously it is. But for me personally, with my setup, my mages are mainly for. Um, support so getting extra damage from them is not going to be highly useful to my setup but I'm sure it will be for some people and then it puts a symbol of magic on a random enemy mage that reduces the targets ma magic power by 75% for five seconds that could be useful because I mean the mages are doing a lot of stuff for the restores the resurrections the stuns what everything whatever it is so that part does add support so that could be useful so before we go to the next one let's take a quick look 54,000 and 22,000 and let me see what my mages are running. Let me get all these covered here. We'll just go on this one because this is another. This is the way of the unicorn one. So that was another special gear, fifty-five thousand and twenty-two. That's about equivalent because I'm. It's at fifty-four to fifty-six. So let's find one that's not a special one. I think this is not special. I just have a. Yeah, that's angel wisdom. It is special. That also is you know twenty-three. It's a little bit more than fifty-five. Okay. All right. Somebody who has nothing special. You. You just have Christmas, whatever it's called. So, yeah, look at that. Spell power, 46 and 15. So it is better, of course. It's higher than just the regular mage armor. But, you know, it's, it's equivalent to what they've been in the past for other events. And that'll probably be the case with the, uh, with the other ones as well. So let's go up to the top again and see about Wolf Plate. So here we go. We got our tank up front here. We've got... Good armor and magic armor activates once in a while, dealing 25%, 25,000 damage. Again, my, my tank specifically does, you know, initially had no, the point of my tank was not to deal damage. The point of my tank was just to tank and to live. Um, but once I put that uh, rude um, axe on there, pole axe, he is doing a lot of damage. She, excuse me, is doing a lot of damage now. So um, maybe that would be useful, but that's not her primary role still, so. So it inflicts on an enemy with the highest damage a symbol of strength that increases damage by 250% for the next three hits. On the ally with the highest damage. Well, that could be useful. So basically that would go back to my archer in the back and give her 250% for the next three hits. You know, she's dealing extra. That's good. Uh, let's go ahead and look here for our um, archer. 6,400 damage. 6,400 damage plus 6,300 health. That seems pretty good. Once in a while, dealing 90... For me, that would be... This would be the one that I'd probably go for. An extra 90,000 damage. That would be useful. And puts a symbol on a target, inflicting 30,000 physical damage for three seconds. On the target. So it only puts it on one target, I guess, where they get an extra 90,000 damage. So activates... I wonder if that's the top and the bottom is the same thing. Let's go back and look for the others. Because that's 30,000 for three, which is 90,000, and above it says 90,000. So um, let's see. Yeah, so is that a, is that an extra 90,000? Or is that the same 90,000 I was talking about on the top and the bottom? I'm not sure. I do want to check the health and the damage. So 63,000 and 6,400. Let me look at a non special archer. What are you running? You have a special. Uh, you have a special. You have one here. I got it to swap this person out so they're not an archer anymore, but that is not special. So 61,000, so that's lower, and then damage is 52, so that's way lower, of course, too. So um, that's also not 100. So, you know, it, again, it's better. And if, if I continue on in this event, that will probably be the one I'm going for. Um, but for me, I'm not going to be here this entire event. We've got eight days. I'm going to be leaving in about five or six days, going on vacation, and I won't be recording. Or I'll probably be playing some offline, but I won't be recording anything during that time. Um, and, you know, I'll be traveling a lot, and I, I won't be able to grind as much as normal. So I expect that uh, I won't be able to get to the top of these. So for me, it's going to be, you know, trying to see what I can maximize and get to be the most useful, you know, maybe go for an epic, excuse me, epic soul or something like that. If I can get to the top, then sure, for sure, fantastic. But, all right, so one other item to cover here, and that is this legendary artifact. Is this one any good? If you can get all three of those and get to this point, which, again, I think you need to pay unless you're 
unless you're a lower level, I think it's easier to grind up some of these, but so it causes 15,000 damage to all enemy fighters and restores 15,000 health. Highly useful, of course, right there. And then an appropriate character effects will be applied to fighters with symbols. So I guess if you're, you have the other gear on and you're putting symbols on the other fighters, blood symbol, the fighter will take 200, no, 20,000 physical damage. Strength will, okay, so people, if they have a mark, they're gonna be dealing extra damage to them as well. So that seems pretty useful. It's 22 second cooldown, though. That's a humongously long cooldown. So um, that's, you know, at most will fire once per fight, which maybe that's not quite as useful. So again, um, we didn't really actually cover how we get all these uh, all these items here. So wolf paws is what they're called. So you get them by defeating other players on the map. Um, you get, I'm sorry, 42 to 52, or actually even less, 37 to 52 maybe for me um, per win getting people on the map, um, being in a tournament. And for me at tier 11, I actually found out that I was actually getting gear, which I'll cover in the next video, or um, um, essence, not essence, stuff that's gonna help me out in my set building, I think, so. Plus, I was getting these paws as well. Not tons, but you know, you get, you do, if you can get five wins, you get a little over 100, I think. Um, Jembe Tour Journeys, you're getting some. Um, maybe I'll go open a chest here in a minute to see, because I got a few of those. Um, Invasions. I did my invasions last night, so I missed out on that one, unfortunately. Uh, watching ads. Oh yeah, every two, was it two or three hours you get 150 free. Portal levels. They haven't done the portal yet since they did this after the portal was over. Uh, winning waypoints in the clan war. I won one of those. I got like 300, I think. So you know, not too bad, but it's expensive as anything to deploy in clan war. So I don't know if it's really worth it. And dungeons. I haven't done any dungeons because for some reason I don't do them on this channel. So I will get to it one of these days. And then you got, you know, overall overall rankings and standings. So all in all, you know, it's 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 what I expect from this specific event and these types of events and I'm I am perfectly okay with the setup and I don't mind that I am not going to get every single item and I'm not gonna to pay to get every single item. So I'm perfectly fine getting there's still plenty of good stuff to get there and that's how I look at it. I'm perfectly okay with that and happy to get the stuff that I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna grind and get some things and when I don't get it all, I'm gonna be good with that. So that's my philosophy. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments and let me know how far you've gotten, what you plan on getting. Are you going to grind and get it all? Are you going to spend some diamonds to get some more? What are you going to do? Just let me know in the comments and let's get a discussion going because I know there's two very strong viewpoints on both sides of uh, both sides of this specific type of event. And hopefully that means the next event will be the, uh, the spinning wheel ones. A lot of complaints on that one too, but that one's a little bit more fair, potentially. I mean, you can, you can spend on that one as well. But anyway, so... I am going to wrap up this video now. We are here for the next eight days with, oh, wrong spot, wrong spot, sorry, with the way of the paw, way of the wolf, sorry, the way of the wolf. Um, and we got more videos coming with uh, this event and also the grand update, more TR11 stuff. So stay tuned for more of that. And until then, this is QC Runner for QC Runner Games, and I will talk to you soon. See ya.